I can't believe this. This is totally unprofessional. I am going to lodge a complaint with the Law Society. He can also complain to the Criminal Lawyers Association. What the hell's wrong with him? Has he lost his mind? Yes. Look, he just has a few personal problems he needs to work out, all right? Look, he's instructed me to ask for an adjournment. No, no, I can't do that. Well, under the circumstances, I don't no, see any listen, other... Listen, I have a bail condition that prevents me from leaving the country. This is a bad thing. Do you know why? Because my company's head office is in New York, and they actually like to see my face there from time to time. Oh, well, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. No, it's but not an inconvenience. It's a career killer. Well, I'm afraid we don't have any choice. Sure we do. You can do the trial. No, that's not an option. First of all, I have a client in bail court coming up. I can handle that. And also, I don't know enough about your case. It's very straightforward. This Chinese guy jumped in front of my car, broke off the side mirror, and when I got out of my car to check to see if he was okay, the guy basically attacked me. Except you're the one charged with aggravated assault and assault causing bodily harm. Yes, it's a clear case of reverse racism. Anyways, they dropped the aggravated assault charge, and James said he could get me off on the other one no problem. He did? How? Self-defense. Except you're the one that broke the other guy's collarbone. So he says. Maybe it was broken before. Before you ran into him? Yeah. It's possible, isn't it? The whole thing could be uh, an insurance scam. But James said he was going to hire a private investigator to check on the guy. Isn't it, uh, isn't his report thing in your file? Do you, do you? Look at this. It's a mess. Look, are you distracted by something? I mean, why are you having such a hard time getting on board here? Look, it's just that what you're saying doesn't in any way match what I have here. Look, the, the, the Crown synopsis says that, that, that you hit Mr. Wong with your side mirror, breaking it off and knocking him to the ground, and then you got out of your car and you beat him almost unconscious as he was on the sidewalk. And I'm telling you it didn't happen that way. For the sake of saving time, I'm willing to back off on the whole self-defense thing. I want you to go to the Crown attorney, tell her I'll plead guilty if I get an absolute discharge. Under no circumstances can I have a criminal record. Did you get that? And if the Crown doesn't go for that plan? Okay, then, then we go to trial. No adjournment. I want this resolved today. Look, I am the top trader on my floor, all right? I can sell anything. I can definitely sell my side of this story if I have to. You'll just woo the judge with your charming personality? Okay, what is your problem? Do you think a put-down from you means anything to me? Do your job, get the deal. I have to make some phone calls. We can't put him on the stand. As soon as he opens his mouth, we lose. I don't know, I really admire guys like him. They know what they want and they go after it. What's wrong with that? Here, I better keep an eye on him. I think she's found Mr. Wright. Where are we going? Uh, just downstairs. So, what happened? What? Oh. You were going to talk to the Crown Attorney? Yeah, well, she can go for it. Well, why not? She's got other plans for you. She wants to see you in jail. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're kidding me. No. With all these lowlifes crawling around in here and she wants to see me in jail? <laughs> I'm a productive citizen, for Christ's sakes. I've got a house, a job. I pay my taxes. She's got a point. Yeah, well, she's not going to back down because you pay your taxes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What did you say to her? I want to know exactly what you said to her. Wow. You know, I think you should consider getting an adjournment. Take the time to find a lawyer you trust. Oh, well, so, so now I've offended you or something? I'm sorry. Could you please just try to grow up? Because I've got a meeting at head office next week, and I can't come up with any more half-assed excuses for not being there, all right? Now, my future with this company is in peril. We have to do this today. I'm sorry. I've been hard on you. Okay? But the truth is, I think you can do this. Mm, sure you do. No, honestly, I, I really mean that. I believe you can handle this. You believe this because... My gut. And I always go with my gut. Also, she says you're good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet she does. Ugh. Yes. Fine. Just don't fuck it up. Or I'll sue you for everything you've got and everything you're ever gonna get. And I mean that. I really do. What a guy, eh? I went on a limb for you, Alice. Don't let me down, okay? Yeah, sure, Nancy. I'll do my best for you. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah, no problem. I'm sure you just being here will be enough. Thanks. Nancy, I stop fantasizing about this guy before you make a total ass of yourself. You're just jealous. Ready to go? Absolutely. Great. Yeah. The SUV was making a right-hand turn. I guess the driver wasn't looking where he was going and smacked into the pedestrian. Okay, and then what happened? Well, he got out of his car and looked to see if there was any damage. To the pedestrian? No, to his vehicle. And then he went over to the guy lying on the sidewalk. 
And then what did you see him do? Well, like at first I thought he was going to help him up, you know, see if he was okay. Mm -hmm. but then he started yelling at him. Could you make out exactly what he was yelling? Stuff like, don't they have cars where you come from? Don't they have sidewalks? Don't you know how to behave in a civilized society? Things like that. And you took those to be racial comments? Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. It was ugly. I didn't want to listen to it. So I started to walk away. And then I heard the Asian guy yelling too. I turned back and this guy is beating him up. I mean, really going at it. Thank you. Can you explain to me why you think what Mr. Robinson said was racist? Well, he was totally insulting him and where he came from. Sorry, I need you to be more specific. I think her answer was pretty clear. You in a hurry today, Miss Minna? Excuse me, Your Honor? Well, I think we can uh, devote a little more time to the subject. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Perez, what do you think my client was implying when he said, don't you have cars where you come from? He was implying that everyone in China drives bicycles. And when he asked, don't you know how to behave in a civilized society? Well, he thinks China isn't civilized. It's, you know, backwards. Isn't it possible that Mr. Robinson wasn't really referring to China at all? That he could have been just asking, don't they have cars where you come from in Thunder Bay? Don't they have sidewalks there? Don't people from Thunder Bay know how to behave in a civilized society? Come on, he wasn't talking about Thunder Bay. The Asian guy wasn't from Thunder Bay. No? Where's he from? China. Yeah? You sure? Maybe she means he looks like he's from China. Yeah, well, you look like you could be from Bombay. Or the town of Stepford. But you're really from Mississauga. See, to racists, I look like I'm from Bombay. And how do you determine this? By identifying first if they're a racist and then asking them where they think you're from? Or do you just ask them where they think you're from first? My friend is intentionally missing the entire point here, Your Honor. No, I think she's making one of her own about intent. And, uh... I get it, Mr. Ray, even if she doesn't. And I'm the one who counts around here. Isn't that right, Miss Minnett? Thank you, Your Honor. He was turning right, but he was definitely looking left. So I, I knocked on the hood of his car, you know, to get his attention. But did he see that you were about to cross Yeah, the yeah, definitely. He looked right at me. And then he floored it. I tried to jump back out of the way, but his side mirror clipped my shoulder and I got knocked to the ground. And then what happened? I was lying there in pain. I was kind of stunned. You know, it felt like my arm was going to fall off. So you're lying there in pain. Yes. And, and then this guy. The man who like, ran yes, into you. him. He gets out of his car and he comes over. Mm -hmm. And at first I think, okay, he's going to try to help mm -hmm. me. Then he starts to punch me, and then he starts to kick me, and he's yelling at me. He's yelling, saying that I broke his mirror. And he did this for how long? I don't know, but it seemed like a long time. Mr. Wong, could you tell the court how this incident has affected your day-to-day -day life? Yeah. Well, he broke my collarbone, okay? Two ribs. And uh, I used to be a pretty active guy. It's taken me a long time to get back into shape. I have trouble sleeping now, and um, my doctor has got me on antidepressants. Thank you, Mr. Wong. How hard did you knock on the hood of the car? As hard as I could. So, so you weren't really knocking, you were pounding? I was trying to get him to stop. So why didn't you just step out of the way? Why did you choose to pound on the hood of the car, basically attacking the vehicle? Oh, attacking the vehicle? Now, you, you're, a, you're a member of Greenpeace, right? Whoa, 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 where are we going with this? Well, the, the vehicle in question is an SUV. Just because I am a member of Greenpeace, this doesn't mean that I go around attacking SUVs. No, of course it doesn't. It could mean that you're an opinionated pain in the butt, however. Not that I'm calling you a pain in the butt, sir, but my niece belongs to Greenpeace and she bores me half to death. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Ray. What are we yes, waiting for? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you, you, you are a martial expert, are you not? What? I have been studying kung fu for 20 years. So it's probably fair to say that you've achieved a certain level of proficiency? I have a black belt. A uh, fourth degree black belt, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Is all of this to illustrate how much danger the vehicle was in from Mr. Wong? Or... No, I'm suggesting that Mr. Wong was perhaps not as defenseless as we've been led to believe. Thank you, Your Honor. God, I feel like an idiot. The 
black belt green piece defense? It's ridiculous. Alice, you did what Mr. Ryder asked you to do. Thanks. Yeah, well, remind me to kill James later. Kill James later. I was just under so much stress, you know. And the market was crashing. And I was separating from my, from my wife. I had seen my kids in like two weeks. And, and you, you, you were afraid? I was driving along and um, suddenly this guy, he just, he jumps out of nowhere and he starts banging on my Jeep. And then I, I noticed that my, my side mirror was broken off and, and then I couldn't see this guy anymore anywhere. So what did you do? Well, I, I got out of my car and there was the guy crouching down on the sidewalk ready to pounce. You know, and he was, he was in this sort of like martial arts pose, you know, like uh, crouching tiger. Yes, and you were worried he could fly. No, Your Honor, I was worried he was going to attack me. I mean, I was defending myself. I felt like my life was in danger. <clears throat> so you were scared of him because he's Asian? Yes. I, I guess I had a, an unhealthy fear of, of Asian people. And I'm ashamed to, to admit that, but I've been through the, the therapy, and now I, I understand that my anger was misplaced. See, the thing is, my, my wife's divorce lawyer is a Chinese gentleman, and I guess I blame him for trying to, you know, get my kids away from me. You know, he, he was also really so eager to screw me, you know, uh, financially, but now I realize that I, I overreacted. So your comments were racially motivated? To tell you the truth, I don't even remember saying those things. It doesn't even sound like me. Yeah, sure. Okay, just answer yes or no. Did you hit Mr. Wong repeatedly? Yes, but like I said... Did you kick him while he was on the ground? As I explained, I was trying to keep him from Did getting... you do it repeatedly? I don't remember. If I did, I'm right. very that sorry. That was a yes. Did you try to smash his head into the back of your car? Hey, I said I was sorry. Yeah, good for you. No further questions, Your Honor. Can I say something... No. All right, Mr. Robertson, I've taken into consideration that this is your first offense, but the utterance of racial epithets is aggravating. However, I recognize that you've taken steps to control your anger and that you've seen a therapist regarding some of the issues surrounding this incident, and I'm willing to accept the fact that you were under duress because of your divorce. But None of these factors, though, mitigating uh, can excuse your abominable behavior, and uh, all that crouching tiger nonsense only annoyed me. So how would the Crown feel about um, conditional sentence to be served in the home? Well, Your Honor... Well, I can't leave my house? Hey, I'm not finished, okay? No, no. Hey! I said I wasn't finished. <laughs> this is a terrible time to annoy me, sir, when I'm sitting up here about to sentence you. You could leave your house for work, for grocery shopping, for legal or medical appointments only. Otherwise, you have to stay there at all times. Okay, well, I, I need to work in New York, so can I do that? Uh, no. You're serving a sentence for a crime. You can't leave the country. What is the shit? I said I was sorry. Hey. Okay? I mean, what, is this because I've got money and an SUV? Oh, and you're probably going to sue me now, right? Yeah, sure. Make a couple of extra grand. Maybe move your family out of that shitty little insole brick house into some monster mansion up in Richmond Hill. Hey, buy a few more extra chairs for the family restaurant. Mr. Robertson. What? When you were arrested, did you spend any time in jail? Of course not. <laughs> That's what I figured. So, you know what? Maybe house arrest isn't the right thing for you. I don't know how good. appropriate that would be. I, I think three months in jail would be good for you. You might make a few pals in there to help you with this nasty attitude of yours. Are you, Take him into are custody. Are you kidding me? Whoa, hang on a second here. Go, well, sir, aren't you going to do something? Sorry. No, you're not. You fucking will be. Believe me, you will be. See, now there's that attitude again, sir. Yeah, well, I'm not too crazy about your attitude either, so... American <laughs> asshole. Hey, I heard that. I heard that. Good luck, Mr. Robinson. Look, at least get my coat. It's Armani. 